marijuana. It's been the topic of heated debate across Ohio thanks to issue three. But today, it is also the target of a major police bust. Yeah, right now, marijuana, it's not legal here. So shipping it to our state in the mail, it's a federal crime. Paul Kiska joining us live with the story you'll only see on five. And Paul, that's what police say happened in Lake County. Well, that's right, Frank, and in just one recent pot bust, police in Lake County found more than 700 pounds of marijuana. Police say it just goes to show even if marijuana is legal in some states, someone will always try to cash in on the black market. These vacuum-sealed packages were designed to keep drug-sniffing police dogs from detecting marijuana. It didn't work. This box containing eight pounds of marijuana was sent to a house in Lake County from California. Sergeant Chris Bagley told me police canines that patrol shipping centers hit on the box. We intercept many packages uh, from the, the, the U.S. Uh, mail, FedEx, UPS, where the originating address is in Colorado or California. Then there was this huge bust. All of these boxes you see in this evidence room contain 700 pounds of marijuana, worth hundreds of thousands of dollars on the street. All of it sent from Colorado to a fake business in Lake County. The larger scale operations actually uh, uh, operate behind uh, fake business fronts. Bagley told me investigators believe the marijuana is being sent by growers in states where marijuana is legal. Instead of destroying the excess crop, they try to make more money in states like Ohio, where marijuana is not legal. Any regulation that is in place in these other states uh, is falling short of actually tracking how much marijuana is harvested. Now, trafficking, selling any amount of marijuana is a crime. It's a felony in Ohio, but police went on to tell me that in both those cases you just saw in Lake County, if convicted, those people could get at least five years in prison. Live in Cleveland, Paul Kiska, News Channel 5.